everyone. Um, take two. Uh, <laughs> I was just in the middle of doing some uh, positivity cards and Safi's come up and uh, switched off the recording. So I'm having to start again. So hello. I hope everybody's okay. Uh, I'm doing really well. I'm having a bit of a happy day today. Um, just good feelings, good vibes. So yeah, I'm going to see what comes out with the uh, positivity cards today. So universe, what would you like us to concentrate on today? What can our focus be? Oh, there we are, one's fallen out. Good things are going to happen. Very much so, very much so. Um, especially if you're on this channel and you're healing, um, good things are going to happen. Uh, when you start actually focusing on yourself and putting in the work um, on a day-to-day -day basis no matter how small that work is you know it, like I keep saying it could be just getting out of bed um, you know and, and functioning for a day or an hour or whatever you know however in whatever way um, that you're trying to move forward even just on the mental state trying to think differently um, and it goes up to making those drastic changes um, of removing people from your life. You know, it's scary um, having to move forward. But once you take that first step, the next step seems a little bit easier and a little bit less scary. Um, and you just keep putting one foot in front of the other every single day, no matter how small. And you will have setbacks and you will have days where you can't do anything and that's okay that's fine you know you, you be proud of how far you've gotten up to that stage and it's just that you or the universe is telling you that you need to rest um you know because all the work that you do put in especially when it comes to mental illness it is just mentally draining every day is just mentally draining and that physically drains you so you know, you do need time to step back um, and bring good things into yourself as well, you know, give yourself rewards. Always reward yourself for how far you've come, you know, like you would a little kid, you know, <laughs> to, to keep that enthusiasm going. You know, look at what you've done today, yeah, I have an ice cream, you know, <laughs> whatever it takes to make you feel, your little inner child feel like they've been re rewarded for good behaviour. You know, it, it does make a difference. But yeah, <laughs> good things are going to happen. Um, once you start moving forward, good things do happen. Um, and there's a big shift at the moment, definitely, with how people are thinking. Um, and yeah, there was a meme that I was uh, um, that struck me earlier, <coughs> and it sort of like got me thinking. And so many times we're told that you know, or we're made to think that I'm only one person, I can't make change across this world. But that's 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 the secret, that's the key, that's that's the thing. The secret to changing the whole world is to actually change yourself. If every single individual person started doing that, It'd be like a spread of COVID-19 across, across the planet, you know, people becoming awakened and and healing themselves. It, it would spread the, and the masses would get stronger. Um, and we would start making changes across the planet because there's more of us that are there taking over and changing how things should be just through changing our own selves it, it would just come naturally you know all the changes would come naturally just by changing yourself you don't have to change the whole world you know <laughs> one, it is possible for one person to change the world though um, by changing yourself changing and healing um, to how you should be how you should be thinking how you should be thinking about yourself for starters and then it just comes naturally for how you think about everything else. Um, once you find who you are, you start loving yourself for who you are. Um, good things do come. And the sooner we all start waking up to this new way of thinking and the, 
and the proper way of thinking, the healthy way of thinking. Um, that I was never taught, you know, there was a certain kind of person that won't teach you that sort of thing because they don't want you to know that you are free, that you have a choice, <laughs> you have a choice to live differently, you have a choice to be better. Um, but once you do understand you've got that choice and all these internal beliefs of yourself that aren't you start dropping away and you start realising who you are and what you're capable of, you know, good things do come. <laughs> Yeah, and good things come to those who wait as well. Um, I mean, I've learnt so much about patience. <laughs> um, oh yeah, patience of an angel, me. I tell you, I tell you. <laughs> the shit I've gone through, what I've had to deal with, um, and how long I've had to wait until this moment, <laughs> until the day that I can actually say, yeah, um, I'm free, I'm me, I like me. I know who I am. I'm allowed to be who I am, um, and not feel guilty or shame for being that person. I mean, that's the best thing that anybody could give me, and the only person that could do that is me. <laughs> you know, nobody could have healed me. Um, yeah, I've had help, but when it comes down to it, I've had to do the work. And nobody can do it for you. You have to do it yourself. Um, that is the harsh truth. Um, the more you do it, the more it becomes easy and second nature. And now, when I look back at how I used to be and what used to stop me, and it's quite difficult for me to actually imagine myself in that position anymore. My brain just can't think of being in that state anymore. <laughs> it doesn't know what it felt like. I can remember that what it was like. But I don't get all that fear and all that guilt and all that everything that comes with it. I don't. I don't get that anymore. That's so strange. It really is to me. Um, not having the anxiety build up. <laughs> um, not feeling panic. Um, sheer panic for just stupid reasons. And it is stupid reasons. Irrational fears. Um, but that's what this earth. <laughs> This society is is ruled by is fear, keeping us in fear. But once you, you don't fear the the monsters, because <laughs> I don't fear the monsters anymore, because they're just people. They're just people with fucked up heads. Um, yeah, once once you don't fear them anymore, and you've got faith in your own abilities and yourself, um, and how you should be, good things come. They really do. So. Um, yeah, I really do hope these videos uh, are actually doing something, these little sort of positivity cards. Um, obviously, I don't know, I'm hoping that, that they are. I mean, I'm getting some good wisdom out of it anyway because it, it's, it's helping me solidify my own thoughts um, about my own journey. Um, but it also helps validate what I know about mental illness. Um, what causes it, or what causes some of it, um, and how to treat it. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's only you that can do it. Only you can make those moves and keep going every single day, putting in the work, showing up for yourself, showing up for that inner child um, that's screaming to be loved, um, you know, screaming for attention. Give it the intention, give yourself the attention. You know, if you take that little person out, that, that little child that's inside of you, that inner child of you when you was first traumatised, or just before it all, you know, you remember all the, the trauma, and you put that child in front of you, how would you treat that child? You know, how would you look after it? How would you care for it? And just put yourself in that perspective that, okay, you've got that little child in you, you're the adult now with all the knowledge. Um, you know when, situa when situations happen, how to deal with them now. But that little child doesn't know that you know that, that you know that yet. You know it, it needs to be told that yeah, it's okay. I'm your big sister now. I, I'm your mum now. I'm your dad now. I'm your brother now. I'm I'm the person that you should have had. I'm there now. 
that's me, this person now, here today, right now. I'm the one that's looking after you, and I'm not going to let all this happen to you, so you're okay. And you keep having to soothe yourself like that, all the way through. Um, whenever anything arises, um, when it comes to healing your inner child and healing past traumas, um, you have to be that rational, loving, nurturing adult that you never had at that time. Um, because nobody else is going to do it for you. Nobody else knows how to talk to you <laughs> that, when you, that you'll listen. Um, you know, and you have to be kind. Always come from kindness. Um, you know, don't call yourself stupid and things like that because that's that's not your voice. That's somebody else's opinion of you that's been fed for you to think. Um, you know about yourself, and it's not true. So you know, treat all your inner selves with as much kindness and compassion as you possibly can, you know, under the situation. And yeah, there will be times where your quick instinct will be on the negative side of things. But correct yourself, say sorry, you know, I didn't mean to say that to myself, I, I do apologise, or this, this is what I'd say to myself. Oh, I didn't mean that, honest. Um, <laughs> I know where that came from and it's not my voice. Um, that's those nasty people, you know, that's somebody else's opinion, that's not my opinion. Um, and I'm sorry for saying that, you know, you, you apologise to yourself for, for being nasty to yourself. <laughs> You've got to be kind, you have to be kind. Um, for, for healing to, to, to work, because you need to reassure your past selves that it's okay, that they're safe. Because they're still trapped in that time back where all the trauma was going on. And there was nobody there at the time that could help them. Um, in the right way um, so yeah you need to be that adult that can help them out of that stage and that's how you heal well that's how I feel anyway so <clears throat> I hope this has helped <laughs> and I do apologize for waffling on but I do hope it, it really does help um, just even one person uh, just to have that light bulb moment for that penny to drop to go wow yeah that's right, clink, and it only takes that little sort of penny to drop, and that's where you work from, you know, but you've got to make the first move, and you've got to do it every single day, show up for yourself, keep moving forward, but yeah, and don't worry about slipping back, um, it happens, it's life, you know, you can't keep coping for 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, you know, there is days, that you, even me, I can't cope, you know, so I shut everybody out and I don't speak to anyone. <laughs> there will be some of you out there that know that on a personal level, you know, I will shut the world out, but that's for my own recuperation. I need it, you know, so um, unfortunately, I know it seems as though I'm being selfish, but it, it's not. It's something that's needed for my own well-being, you know, and I will put myself before anyone um, when it comes to my own well-being. And that's what everybody should do. When it comes to your own well-being, your own safety, your own mental health, your mental stability, always put yourself first. Um, you are number one in your little world. <laughs> um, so treat yourself with love and care and attention. And uh, thank you very much for listening. And I shall speak to you again soon. Lots of love. Bye-bye.